move to strike the last word. Generally is recognized. Thank you. Uh, St. Louis, and I thank you, the Chairman Nadler. Today's discussion is a powerful and a necessary one. I came to Congress to legislate in defense of Black lives and to dismantle white, white supremacist systems that, that fuel the white supremacist violence uh, in our communities, Black communities, that we face since our country's founding. A founding, founding forged by the cap capture, kidnapping, and enslavement of Black, pe black people 400 years ago, ago. The history of lynching is personal for me. My, my own family was subjected to the violence of, of lynching, living in the Jim Crow, Crow South. I speak today on behalf of them, them not one, but multiple, and move to advance this, this legislation. Uh, Ms. Bush, can you suspend for a moment? There's an echo. Okay, try again. Ms. Bush? Try again. Is this better? So far. Okay. From slave catching to lynching to life without parole and the death penalty, the ugly violence of white supremacy lives on today. It's violence that has targeted and harmed black folks in this country and it must stop. 14 years old. 14 years old until it was but a child. He should have been able to grow old. He was denied that opportunity because of a horrific racist display of white supremacy. At 14 years old, that baby boy was lynched. It's been 66 years, years and family has been denied accountability. Not guilty in all white jurors. And, and this the week, just this, this with the Justice Department closed, closed investigation into his, his, his unable to vote to bring charges. Let the people see, see we did my boy, his mother demanded, demanded in 1955, hoping and, and pleading that his country would see her baby's work. Our, our system of laws failed that Black family, and failure has been that many more, more Black boys and girls, many more Black people have been the victims of, of supremacist violence in the country. Last year, we watched, watched with her sadness and pain as a 12-year-old young man, Ahmaud Arbery was, was hunted down and lynched by vigilantes and in Georgia. Let the pe people see what they did. If we didn't see, we might not have seen the accountability for that lynching. I am for the leadership of my colleague, Rep. Rush, and her book, book, and I'm indebted to the, to the work of this movement that got, got at us here. Black like agitators, justice seekers, girls like Lee Wells and, and Me Till and, and Cooper Jones, who have read risk files, demanded accountability and lost their children to country rife, a country rife with violence. We are taking an important step today by advancing this long overdue legislation, but our work is not done. Police violence is a lynching, and the execution is a lynching. A life sentence without the possibility of parole is a lynching every day. Hundreds, if not thousands of people die at the hands of violence. This violence. We must commit ourselves to dismantling it. Thank you, and I yield back. The gentlelady yields back. Does anyone else seek recognition on the amendment? What purpose does Mr. Gates seek recognition? Let's try the last word. Gentleman is recognized. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I just want to ha have a clarification about what's in the bill. I, I just heard the gentlelady uh, from Missouri mention that a life sentence without the possibility for parole is a lynching. Is, is that how the bill defines a lynching? No, that's not how the bill defines a lynching. Uh, life sentence without possibility of parole is a possible penalty uh, for a lynching that results in death. But then by Ms. Bush's theory, one of the penalties for a lynching could be a lynching. Does that seem? I don't understand you. Me either. That's what I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out. I just heard the gentlelady say that a life sentence without the possibility for parole is a lynching. And, and if that's no, no, no. A life sentence without possibility of parole is not defined as lynching the bill. A life sentence without the possibility of parole is a possible uh, uh, um, is a possible sentence for a lynching that resulted in death. I, I, that's all it is. That, that is helpful because what you're saying is that in the bill, a lynching is not determined as determined as a. 
that sentence in prison, but that it could be the penalty. What I guess I'm trying to reconcile is your description of the bill with Congresswoman Bush's remarks, because it, they both can't be true. Would the gentleman yield? Yes, yes, please. Um, Mr. Gates, I, I think that, that our colleague was speaking metaphorically at that point. Okay. Yield back. Yep, I appreciate that. It was a little confusing. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. Are there any further uh, statements on the Gomer Amendment? If not, the question occurs on the amendment. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Aye. Nay. No. In the opinion of the chair, the nays have it. I ask for a recorded vote. Recorded vote is requested. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Nadler. No. Mr. Nadler votes no. Ms. Lofgren. No. Ms. Lofgren votes no. Ms. Jackson Lee. 